Hi everyone, Rhonda here, and I am back and I have an actual Dollar Tree haul today. And yes, I do love to go to my Dollar Tree because sometimes we do get some of the good stuff in that are the other people I see get, but not a lot. Usually it takes us a while to get them in, so. Anyways, I just thought I'd pop on here and show you what I picked up at our Dollar Tree today. I always pick up their little toastums. These are really good, just in case you just need a quick breakfast. So, there you go. Two cookies and cream. And I did find these. These are new to me. Now, I don't know if they are anywhere else, but these are the... Um, fiber bars and these are the birthday cake by, made by Sunbest and they're 85 calories six grams of fiber you know what the heck why not just throw those in your snack box why not? let's see I did find I, I must have been hungry in there I did find the breakfast uh, biscuits these are the blueberry, and there's 50% more in here, so there's actually nine. There's usually like five, so but yeah, these are good. With a cup of coffee, I'm fine. Let's see, what else do we have? I did find the large applesauce. This used to be the normal size, but now they went down to, I think, the four size. This is a six. And yes, I will buy these every time I find them for $1.25. Got two of those because you never know when you're hungry for a little bit of applesauce. Put these in the refrigerator and they are just delicious. And I picked up Sun. My son ended up, he loves these and they're out now. The Reese's pumpkins already. And these, there is four bars in here. So I picked them up a couple packages because he does seem to like those. And those are his treat. My youngest son. Let's see, I don't know if I have any more food. Let me look in here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh well, don't mind me. I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I got. Okay, I did end up picking up some Louisiana Supreme buffalo chicken wing sauce um i am going to make some hot wings this weekend and i thought we would give this one a try it's still only a dollar 25 and oh here's another thing of toastums these are the chocolate fudge and let me see what else do we have in here oh i did pick up some bullseye everyday um barbecue sauce the honey brand for the wings and I did pick up this this is something I've, I've not seen at ours and I have been told this is a name brand Ria's and so I picked it up it's golden Italian dressing and marinade and I, I believe that would be very good if you even wanted just to marinate this with your chicken I think that would be so good or even pour it Put your chicken in the crock pot, pour this over it. You've probably saved about three or four dollars just on the dressing alone. Good idea. Yeah, I think I might try that, guys. Let's see, I'm going through this awfully fast. I don't mean to, but I am. Let's see, I did find, I don't think there's any more food. <laughs> I hope there isn't, I think I, I took care of all the food now. Okay, I did find another puzzle, a large puzzle. This one is the Zodiac puzzle, and it's a thousand puzzle pieces. And I just thought it was so cute. And it's such an, a nice, sturdy box. And these make good Christmas gifts. Still $1.25 if you can find them. These are regularly, of course I would look at that. I do believe they're like $14 puzzles if I'm not mistaken but anyways they're just nice I like them for gifts so this is a zodiac so I've got a 
couple of da granddaughters and daughters that like to put puzzles together. So that will be wonderful. I did pick this up down the craft aisle. I'm doing a project that I just needed the round wood, but I will try and peel this off this little pumpkin because I just thought it was so cute too. Maybe use that in another project. Let's see, picked up a couple of the Word Hunt and large print uh, crossword puzzles. These are for my great aunt that lives up in Iowa. And so I do try and send them to her because she, she loves them and they keep her busy and she just enjoys it. So I did pick up some of the little uh, sponge brush sets. This is all the littler ones. They, aren't, they don't have the big ones in this set, but there's six in here. And so I do need to use that on a project. I have a, I have a great nephew and I'm a great aunt. You can believe that already. And I buy him all my little Dollar Tree toys because I just think he loves them and he needs them. This is supposed to be an LED bouncy ball. And it's like this kind of stuff. I'm not gonna take it out, but it does feel like it can bounce. So yeah, he's gonna get that. Then I found these and these are just too cute. And I, I don't know how long they've been out or if they're just new to me, probably. But these are the little squishy foods. And this looks like it's a waffle and waffle sandwich, I believe. But isn't that cute? You get the whole thing to make the sandwich and they're very squishy. Same for this one. I believe this one is either pancakes and eggs, a pancake sandwich. So yeah, cute. I just thought he'd enjoy something like that. And then this, this one, and of course, I don't know what happened to the other one, but I'll have to find it. This is one of these big stretchy guys. Isn't he cute? I love him. He is adorable. He stretches. Let's see. I think I got it in here, this other little bag. No, I don't know where it's at. Hmm. Well, maybe I didn't get it in the cart. Yeah, I did. I got one more thing here. Don't mind my stuff back here. I'm, my This room is my catch-all room lately. Um, these are the actual Sonic the Hedgehog. And this is a, which one will you get? It's called a blind bag sort of thing. And these are squeezelings. And I don't know what they are. It looks like you can see this on the back of the package. So I think he'll get a kick out of that. But those are for my great nephew. And he is so cute. And he's got now a new little brother. So I'm really gonna have to start stepping up my game. Anyways, I did find some in the makeup aisle. I found some of this. I'm not sure what it is. Let's open it and see, shall we? Doesn't even say. And if it does, it says it in very little words that I couldn't read it. I'm hoping it's lipstick, but I don't know. Let's see. And of course, I can't read these words. And I don't have a pair of glasses just laying around here somewhere, do I? Or do I, please, please, please? Usually I have a bunch of them laying here. But anyways, I don't know where they are. I'll just have to wing it here. Let's see. Oh, I can't wing it, guys. I'm not a good wing it. Why didn't I get my glasses over here first? Usually that's what I do. I make sure I have a pair of, I'm sorry, I don't mean to move y'all, but I believe they're over here somewhere in this pile of stuff. <laughs> don't mind me. Here's a little pair right here. I will find them in this menagerie. It's, it's, it is, it's powder play lip color. I don't know who it's by. It says powder play. I don't know. Oh, it's by flower. There you go. I don't know if you can see that or not. Flower. 
I don't know the name of the color. It looks like Frenzy or Freezy or Freaky. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to try it though because I don't have any lipstick on anyway. So let's take a peek, shall we? I like to sometimes buy this stuff in these bags because I really don't know what I'm getting. It's almost like a blind bag for me. So I did like the color. The color is very pretty to me. So, but I don't know about being a powder. I'm not sure about that. What is this? How do you open it and what do you do with it? There we go, it screws on, it screws on. Oh, I see, you got a little lip thing. There you go. That's the color. I don't know if it's a mat. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't care for it. It feels powdery. I like things a little bit more shinier and slippier. It does feel like a mat. Not a bad color. Okay, enough messing around. Uh, let's see, what else did I pick up? Anything, oh yeah, down the makeup aisle, I found these. And I've got granddaughters that will probably love these in their little gift bags, so I will be giving them to them because for $1.25, you cannot really go wrong. I did pick up the glowing vitamin C cleansing cloths. I'm hoping those are cloths. I'm hoping those will remove my makeup. Let me look. I don't know if I read that or not. It's got with ni niacinamide or whatever. Huh, that's kind of scary. Okay. Oh, don't, don't lick your lips like this on me. God. Ugh. I don't know, but anyways, I'm gonna try and remove my makeup at night now. Some nights it's, uh, it's a hit or a miss with me lately. <laughs> I did find this. This is the one, the dupe they were finding all a while back. It's the Brazilian Mist, the Power Stick. I did spray it when I got home because I wanted to see. It doesn't last very long, but I'm not a fan of the smells, so I guess I'll just pass that along too. Let's see, what else did I, oh, I did get an emery board, a file. This one is by Diamond, and I have used their, their um, products before, and I do like them. What else did I get? Oh, I bought a bunch of um, little, Glues, Mod Podge. Um, this one is for dishwasher save. This one is a decoupage and this is matte. And I'm just replenishing some of my Mod Podge and glues because you know, sometimes you, you do use them and you don't, sometimes they go bad. I did find the Eileen's Tacky Glue for $1.25 for this little bottle. That's not too bad. And what other one did I get? I did get the regular Mod Podge, and this one is the glossy one. And they, I do see they've got this, this is inside the label, so. I think we're gonna be kind of stuck with this. I did find the Candy Mo Moyo um, brush on fingernail glue, nail glue for a dollar twenty-five, and yep, that's inside there too. So I guess we're just gonna get the prices on everything now. I did pick this one up. I have never tried these. I do have an Airwick, and these say these will fit Airwick. This is the Hawaiian, so I thought for a dollar twenty-five I would give it a try. So. And then on that note, I did pick up this one also. It's the Hawaiian and it's the one that you can sit and just let it smell somewhere. And I use, I found, I watch a lady on YouTube 
Who doesn't? <laughs> I, I do watch YouTube myself, so that's where I see most of these. I do like um, uh, Nani's Life. She's very good. She's a Dollar Tree hauler, and I love her. Um, anyways, this one is uh, the lady that I'm referring to is Operation Nikki, and she does like YouTube shorts about cleaning. And she did a short one day about her trash can and how she keeps it clean and smelling good. And what she does is once a week or whatever, once, wherever you think about cleaning it, clean it all up and then at the bottom of your trash can, cause I, like if you have a, 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 a steel one, you know, uh, what are those called? You know what they're called. Anyways. stainless steel trash can, I guess. Um, the liners come out so you can put your um, bags in on the liners. Well, underneath there, there's a little space and you can actually either put it under the liner itself or you can put it on, in between that canister where it holds your liner and the outside canister. And these make your trash smell good. So. I'm gonna try it, or supposedly, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet and I'm gonna try it. They had this one, which is Hawaiian, and then they had the fresh linen one. So I just thought, yeah, she just snaps it and puts it in the bottom there and she says it really smells good. This is on to the cleaning supplies and I think that's all after this. But anyways, I do always pick these up there. These are my Cascade dishwashing pods. Um, you get six in a bag, so I usually get two for 12 and a 12 for two uh, 50. I didn't think that was too bad. I did pick this up today because I'm going to do another little trick with the comet with the bleach in it, the all purpose with bleach. I have tile floors, and in between my tile floors, I have grout. Oh, of course, and in my, my front bathroom, it's a light color grout. Don't ask me where my mind was. But anyways, they say this works really good if you take it and just spray it on the grout and let it sit for a little while. And then take a nice wet cloth and wipe it up. Try and just get it in the grout lines. Then I did find this scrub free and it's the oven cleaner with the OxyClean in it. And yeah, that's a permanent sticker, but um, I was gonna try and clean my oven without using the, the automatic oven cleaner because every time I do, it just makes the house smell bad. And I'd rather just get in there and scrub it out because it's so much easier and quicker. But anyways, I thought I'd pick this one up. And this one actually, um, it's got its 40 ounce bonus and I don't think it'll smell so bad. Let me take a smell if I can open it. Oh yeah, it smells almost lemony and, and nice clean citrusy really. So this will be nice. So yeah, scrub free oven cleaner. And that's it. I think I've got everything out of here. No, I got one more thing. What was this? What is this? Oh, I found some wizard. This is um, room mist and this is called morning mist. So yes, we have to have these sometimes around. But other than that, I, I think that's normal for it to be open. I'm not sure. I thought they were all, I don't know if they have a cap or not, but anyways, it's bathroom cleaner or bathroom smelly. Let me show you what I have been making with my Tamu flowers, if I can get them over here. Let me take a look at them here. I, I actually ended up getting two things from Tamu today that I've ordered a long time ago. And these are long um, sprays of flowers, like vines. And these are so pretty. I'm not even gonna open them right now because I don't think I'm gonna get to use them yet this year because I still have these in my hair that I've been using. And look at how pretty those are. 
This was from Timu, the whole setup actually. And I paid, I think, $4 for the basket. It is plastic, but the it does come, oh, I'm so sorry. It does come with the, the cocoa liner. And then I paid, I believe, five, five or six dollars for all these assorted flowers. And I just love these. They are so pretty. Same for this little one. This one was like about three dollars and it's a little smaller one. And I love it. And the little pansies in there, I believe uh, were, I wanna say 247 or 347. I, do not have over five dollars on this one for sure and i do not have over i believe probably around eight maybe nine dollars if that in this one and look at how big this one is you go to the store to try and buy hanging flowers they're thirty dollars per minimum minimum this one is i don't know what my this one is for this fall now I did pick up, um, I did have this, the, this holder from another um, hanging pot. So I just changed out the cocoa liners, which you can get from Timu. And yeah, and these are flowers I just had laying around. So I, I just throw them in here and I glue, I put some hot glue on the bottom of them. So they stay in and maybe a little bit of stones and aren't they pretty? I just love them. They are so pretty. So yeah, I will be getting those out. What else? Oh, I know, I picked up some stuff too for flowers over at Dollar Tree today. Let me see if I can get them. Hold on just a minute. Let me see. I set them over here out of the way because I try to keep it all. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyways, these are for fall. These are my fall little pumpkins. I'm getting ready. I can't wait. I did get two of those and these are $1.25 and they're kind of like a little velvet feeling. And then all of these beautiful eucalyptus leaves, they have them out now. So there you go. And these are, in, these are tall. So if you have a taller vase, these would be perfect in a taller vase, literally. Oh, they, I, they did have these too. I only picked up one and I'm kind of mad because usually I buy, if I buy one, I buy two. So, but anyways, these are my eucalyptus little, these are not the, the velvet. These are just uh, like styrofoam, but they're adorable. And I do split these up into different arrangements. So yeah. But these are cute, and I do have some coming from Timu also that I picked up on a really good special. So, come back and see my Timu hauls. Eventually, I'm going to have another one very soon. I do believe there's a shipment on its way. So, if you like what you see, subscribe. Um, I enjoy doing most hauls and most crafts. One day, I am going to start again on them crafts, I promise as soon as I get everything organized because I got I don't know I'm just kind of feeling I want to organize now I just want to get my stuff in here that I only want to use and then I want to get the other stuff out and right now I feel like a good fall clean out is ready I'm ready so but anyways y'all take care you have a good weekend I'm it's Friday night here and um, getting ready just to relax and go to a birthday party tomorrow for my grandson. He turned 16 and oh my gosh, goes too fast, guys, goes too fast. Okay, love y'all. Remember, this too shall pass, no matter what we're going through, if we don't stay there forever. So God always, if God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. So love you. But Jesus loves you more. And I I know everyone says that, but he really does. And take good care and God bless y'all. Bye-bye.